Let's take a look at the rule involving quotient of powers. This rule describes what you do when you are dividing two exponential expressions. So if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, we're going to do the opposite of what we did in the product of powers rule. We're going to subtract those two exponents. So you end up with a to the power of m minus n. You take the exponent from the numerator, subtract the exponent from the denominator, and that gives you your answer. Once again, this only works if you have the same base, and we subtract the exponents. Let's do an example. So here I've got x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 3. I've got the same base, so my quotient of powers law applies. So my base is x, and I'm going to subtract those two exponents. 5 minus 3, so my end answer equals x to the power of 2. Let's go through why that works that way. On the top, I've got x to the power of 5. What that means is I'm taking 5 x's and multiplying them together. In my denominator, I've got x to the power of 3. That means I'm taking 3 x's and multiplying them together. Now, if you remember your algebra rules, any factor I've got in both the top and the bottom will cancel each other out. Those two x's cancel each other out. Those two and those two. All I'm left with is two x's in the numerator. Let's do another quick example. 6 to the power of 4 divided by 2 to the power of 3. The quotient of powers law does not apply here. I do not have the same base. This one has a base of 6, and this one has a base of 2. So why is anything to the power of 0 equal to 1? I'm going to use the quotient rule to help try to explain this. So let's look at this question. 5 squared divided by 5 squared. Without using any exponent laws, let's just multiply that out. I've got 5 squared on top, which is 25. I've got 5 squared on the bottom, which is 25. And any middle schooler should be able to tell you that 25 over 25 equals 1. With the same numerator and denominator, you've got a 1. So let's use the quotient law in this example instead. I have the same base, so it does apply. I've got a base of 5, and my numerator and the exponent from my numerator is 2, and the exponent from my denominator is also 2. 5 to the 2 minus 2 ends up being the same as 5 to the power of 0, and we've already established that this question equals 1, so 5 to the power of 0 must equal 1. 